Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome and it is Wednesday. We're playing sand game. Where is my game screen? Excuse me, one game screen, please. Thank you. Video James, arise. Video James. I forgot this game is one of those ones that doesn't like to exist if you're clicked out of it. I hope you have all been having a very wonderful and good Wednesday. My brain is at about 20 capacity today. So if the thoughts that I'm thinking are not quite fully formed, simply use your Lego prowess to put them together into fully formed thoughts using other objects that are in the room, like, for example, apple slices or... Maybe some string. Or perhaps you had a long and exhausting day. I'm sorry. Sometimes in life, the day just needs to stop. The day just needs to let y'all get some rest. The day just needs to be like, have you considered... No work for today, no tasks, no objectives. Only objective is to relax and sit and enjoy and maybe see a video. This is the one we want, I think. Last stream, we met the Tooth Fairy and we tried to give the Tooth Fairy a tooth and the Tooth Fairy did not want our tooth. Which is frankly... Extremely very rude. My day was just an average work day, I think, but my brain is very long and exhausted, so I'm struggling through it. This game that was played before with the time other than now and the thing with the game, right? Yeah, the Wednesday game. The game of the Wednesday. Every Wednesday there is a game, and this Wednesday is this game, and this game was here last Wednesday. There's barrels... There's barrels. Here is the, the smichination. Here's the situation. Here's the, the... Here's the facts. We are girl. Sophie... <laughs> Sophie Grundler. I forget about that name every time. Sophie Grundler. Sophie Grundler is a girl who doesn't sleep so good. Sophie Grundler wants to get a good sleep, but also has some sort of stresses in her life, like bullies and um, this tooth that she found on the ground... Grundler. This tooth she found on the ground and her phone that I am not allowed to swipe to unlock. The time is stopped at midnight also, which is a new stress for Sophie Grundler. Sophie Grundler is trying to find the Sandman so that she can fix the time travels or the time shenanigans, the time stopping them. And in order to do that, she needs to go this way. She met a man named David, who she knew before from a man she met named David. Except this David was different David. This David was a trickster David. This David was named Lullaby. By. This was Lullaby David, who was a man made by the Sandman. A man, Sandman man made man. <laughs> She's grundling her way through the sand. I don't even, I, I don't know if we've even found any sand yet. We did find this swamp, and this swamp lady who wants me to get her a coin. We have to get Swamp Nixie the coin. 
Richard Nixie, we gotta get her the coin. And to get a coin, you would think that you would put a tooth under a pillow from the Tooth Fairy. And the Tooth Fairy says, got no business. And then we're like, well, what about this tooth, huh? You want the tooth? But the Tooth Fairy doesn't want the tooth. When we tried to give it to the Tooth Fairy, the Tooth Fairy said, uh, actually, this tooth is useless and garbage. This is an old person's tooth. I need baby baby teeth from babies. So I think we have to find a baby and steal their teeth, but I have n absolutely no clue how we're gonna do that. There's like not much we can do in this area. I don't actually know if we can even leave this area. There's like this place here with some trees. I might actually have to look up a walkthrough if we don't, if something doesn't become apparent there's this, like, spookily maze. And I think I went through every path in the spookily maze. Up loops around. This one brings us back. Nothing hits like a late night sandwich. Every night, not every night, but a good chunk of the nights, I am going to bed and I'm thinking about how good a sandwich would taste at night. This is how we get out. None of these other paths lead anywhere. Here's the thing. In your nose? The sandwich? Or the tooth? Or the nose nose? Here's the thing is, food's trick is that this is how we get out. Up brings us nowhere. It would taste so good at night. Food tastes so much better at night, but you can't have it at night because if you eat the food at night, it keep you awake and you need to sleep at night so that you can be uh, feeling good the next day. If you want to have a good feel the next day, you have to go to bed and sleep enough. And if you don't, wait, is this new? True, but food, that's the thing. It's like, well, sure, you could eat a delicious and tasty food. Up is where we came from, so we want to go down? A log? Is there a tooth in a log? Is there a frog in a log? In a bog? At the bottom of the sea? Can we go this way? We can't be soft locked, can we? Food tastes so good at night. I don't know what it is. I think it's the nighttime. It's like the night air or maybe like the moon that makes the food taste so good and better. But keep you awake. Evil. Evil trick. I want to sleep, eat. I want to eat and sleep at the same time. I want to be able to eat late at night and then go to bed immediately after. But it doesn't work that way. Okay, what do we have? We have a notebook that we can't use. We have a cell phone that tells us it's midnight. We have this tooth that we can't use. We have the system that does nothing. Maybe we can give the tooth to Nixie? Do you think a swamp lady wants a tooth? If you were a lady that lived in a swamp, would you want a tooth? That's not the way to go. <laughs> Absolutely. I think if I lived in a swamp, I'd have other work. Want a glass of water? Glass of water? Yeah, I could take a sippy. Thank you, thank you. I should also be drinking my night coffee because it's night and it's delicious. See, I have to have a little snack before stream so that I can stay awake in time enough to do stream. Very important to use your brain and your stuff. Okay, will you take this tooth? Will you take this cell phone? Will you take this notebook? 
do I put the tooth in the swamp? Was I supposed to get an item before coming here? Barrels full of something, barrels full of something, barrels full of something. What, got no business, then out with you? Can I go to bed? Warhammer 40,000 dark tide. Did you win? Did you hit things? How stuck? We're, we're stuck like the gum under a middle school desk. We're stuck like um, a penny that fell inside of a car door. We're stuck like um, I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and it is the stuck. We're stuck like we only have three items and one of them we can't use? I threw a lunchbox and a big explosion happened. Many good things. Hell yeah. If we had a lunchbox in this game, I think we could throw it. Am I missing a button? I don't think I am. There's only like three buttons we can press. There's only two buttons we can press. What items do you have? Okay. So what would make the most sense is we, ha we have a cell phone that whenever we open it, it just tells us that it's stopped right at midnight. We can't slide to unlock. We can't do anything with this. Um, we have a notebook that it won't even let us look at. And then we have a knocked out tooth. What we're supposed to do to progress is this swamp lady wants a coin, right? Like... She wants a coin. She wants a nice shiny coin. And in this castle is the Tooth Fairy. You would think that we can give the tooth we have to the Tooth Fairy, and he would give us a coin, like how it works for children. But at the end of last stream, when we presented him with the tooth, he said, Ew. Gross. So, Siri me wee hee hee. <laughs> Siri me wee hee hee. So threw a football that looks like a grenade and a huge boom as well occurred. Are you sure you didn't actually throw a grenade? Either way, good times. Have a good rest. Always, ABC, always be cresting. And cresting is spelled with a silent C, so it's just resting. Try anything with that door above the bed? See, I don't know how to get to that. I can't get up on the bed. I can't interact, I can't get around the bed. I can't get up there. I can't get to the window because this guy is here. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something with this guy, but he doesn't care about my cell phone or my tooth anymore. Sitty me wee hee hee. To BRB feeling off. Oh, go lay down, go have a sit, go have a sleep, go have a snack maybe, go out, drink some wow water. Very important. Oh yeah, get all the guys in on this. We need all our best minds on this. We need all our best minds on this puzzle. The sun, the moon, the ice cream. Perhaps even the lime man. Assuming you can't move the stools. No, the stools we could just walk right over. They don't seem to make us any taller. I'm interacting with all sorts of this table. I'm like, I feel like I'm supposed to be able to take something out wow. of the barrels. You're drinking that flavor sodi lime. Get the lime man in on this. He will know. He'll know what to do. I can't put the tooth in the barrel. You're playing Armored Core 6. I hope you're doing so many good jobs and winning and getting paid your uh, robot dollars. There's... 
a possibility that there's, like, something... S the only thing I can think is if, like... There's a little area we can go to. If we, like, interact with every single tree. You close your hot tub for the season, Tomorrow's You had to use it one last time. But cold season's the best time to be in a hot tub, right? Cold outside, hot water, good times. I guess if it gets cold enough to freeze, that's maybe not good times. Or maybe it is. The hot tub science. Hot tub and pool are connected systems, so you can't have one without the other. The duality of tub. The duality of wowder. I am clicking the interact button with everything we are facing. It's gonna be something really stupid. I'm gonna go click that link, by the way. Go to www.comvolguardian.twitch.tv.com and then you're gonna see footballs that look like grenades or grenades that look like footballs and you're gonna be like, damn. They sure do be explodings. You just feel like ice when you get out of the hot tub. That's when you just gotta sprint. People have indoor hot tubs, don't they? I'm used to always outdoor hot tubs. There's maybe like a secret way we can go? All of these paths like just loop back around. We've done them all. We've interacted with every plants. The only other thing I could think of is maybe if like there was a hint written down somewhere. That was like, oh, you have to follow these paths in a very specific order. Do I put the tooth in the plant? No. I've only ever seen one indoor hot tub. Your friend had it in her bedroom? That's a weird place to have a tub. It was heart-shaped. Heart-shaped is a pretty good shape for a tub, I think. All hot tubs should be outside, maybe. The only hot tub I ever used regularly was when I was child in elementary school. I was on the, like, neighborhood swim team. And they had a hot tub next to the pool. And they made us start swimming in May, and it was very cold. And so they're like, all right, if you do your swim practice when it's cold, you can get in the hot tub after. And so we did cold swim, and then we got in the hot tub, and it was nice. Never seen an indoor one. So one inside the bedroom is just wild to me. I feel like I might have seen one at, like, either, like, a hotel or, like, a rec center. Yeah, cold swim to hot tub is so nice. Getting from cold to warm is so satisfying. All right, if I cannot find anything here. This makes me feel like I should be able to go somewhere. You did it? Did you beat the hard? Did you do the hard battle? Was there a hard battle and then you beat it? And you were like, I'm in a robot, pew, 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 pew. And then you just were like, and then you win. All right. Can I ch can I chuck this tooth? It's walkthrough time. The Sandman RPG walk through. I feel like we opened a walkthrough once for Crooked Man. Got the class Gordon and Chase going to the Sandman's house. Turn to the screen, enter the house. Wait. <laughs> it says, then go Nixie asks about Tib Young Grass. Huh? She didn't do that. Thank you, Jagdab. Thank you, Nightbot. 
Go Nixie talks about tip young grass. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? <laughs> Nightbot copycat moments. You go up. You go up. You go... <laughs> Happy Thwomp Wednesday. Thank you, Ruby. It's Thwensday. It's Thwimsday. I might have softlocked it somehow. I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna talk to Nixie. How's the sand individual? We're very stuck. It's not letting us progress. Wait. Wait! 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 Do we literally just never talk to Nixie? What an impertinent little squirt. I use Tibyung Dew on my skin every day. It's always so youthful and smooth. What's the point of worrying about your skin in a swamp like this? Oh dear. Have you let to yet to learn? I'm... <laughs> Did we literally just never talk to Nixie? Oh dear, have you yet to learn the importance of skincare? Such a squirt. Being in the water all day makes my skin rough too. Did we only talk to her once and we just needed to keep talking to her? Ivy is here, it's true. Exist. Exist. Yeah, I, we're not. <laughs> Thank you, walk through. We're not stuck. We're the opposite of stuck. We're, um, free. <laughs> Not relevant, but you listen to Turlet Ice song on your ride home from school today? I bet Turlet Ice song would be a good one to just slap in the playlist of, like, 300 songs. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki and Ice Cream are on its way. Michael. Been such a good boy this year. Open up your presents while we all cheer. Hey, so where do you get that Tibyung stuff you were talking about? Oh, do you want silky smooth skin too? Tibyung grass is pretty light blue is a pretty light blue plant that grows in dry wood forest. I know where the blue plant is. I know where the blue is. Even a squirt like you could see it right away. Ah, uh, might be for your boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. Now that I could have guessed. But I'll bet there's a guy you want as one, yes? Uh, I go to an all-girls school. I think this is a Yuri game, perhaps. We need a Michael sound effect. Michael, I work there. I feel like Michael's is a very good store to work at. It probably smells pretty good in there. Craft supplies always smell wonderful. This is not the way to- oh no, this is the way to go. Blue. Get the t this must be the tibium grass. If I put some dew on this tooth, will it become a kid's tooth? I don't think that's how it works, but the tooth got tiny. Is it a baby tooth now? Sure. Child's Daddy. tooth. Daddy. And Michael are on its way. Candy. Is on its way. And... Cakey, been such a good boy this year. Open up your presents as we all cheer. Michael's is here, the whole store. You could buy. It's pretty good, but you will come home and be like, why is there glitter on my arm? Not a lot of glitter, just a speck. You were never free from the glitter. Excuse me, sir, I have got you one child's tooth now. Hey, tooth fairy, I've brought a child's tooth. Give me a coin for it. Oh, ho, ho, now that's what I'm after. I'll gladly trade a shiny coin for that. Now then, sleep on that bed there. Why? I swap the coin while the children sleep so they don't see me in the act. You wake up on me and no coin, Missy. But I can't sleep. I have insomnia. Oh, is that right? Well, if you can't sleep, pretend, all right? Just close your eyes. Indulge me. Your bed's also too small. Sophie, can you just, like... Play along. Can you just play along for a bit? This is. You can't leave. You're trapped here. Whoa. It's a crazy world we're living in. Crazy world, let's go. And then just lay on top. Sheesh. You're too serious, you are. Reminds me of somebody. 
Go to bed. Have a nap. Crazy world counter increases. We are one more crazy world closer to a true crazy world. <coughs> Thank you, Himbot. Can I open my eyes now? Sure, sure. Oh, a coin. Thanks, Tooth Fairy. Achievement. Tooth Fairy received a coin from the Tooth Fairy. Hey, was it really you who traded my teeth for money when I was little? Of course it was. You had some good teeth. Well brushed like your mother's. I bought my first ice cream with that money. I've loved ice cream ever since. Her parents never... No, that can't be. I was going to say, her parents never gave her ice cream until she lost a tooth, but no, that must be the first ice cream she ever bought for herself, right? Right? Remember the dentist guy in Fairly Odd Parents? I remember um, Denzel Crocker, and that's it. That's the only Fairly Odd Parent I remember. Who is the dentist? Oh, wait, no, I do remember the dentist. He had a son who was exactly like him, and they had such a voice. I remember. <laughs> Memories unlocked. Gilbert Gottfried voice dentist time talking guys. That's good to hear. That money's yours to spend. Makes me glad it served a good purpose. Gilbert Gottfried voice. Hey, Tooth Fairy. Why are your teeth so gross? Well, my job's gathering kids' teeth. No time to care about my own. <laughs> Sir. Brush your teeth, please. At least get some mouthwash. Mousewash, mouthwash. Mouthwash, mousewash, mousewash, mouth, mouthwash. I have it. Ah, oh, it's so wonderfully shiny. Well done, you can pass now. Yes, sir, can't find four minutes a day. Here's the hack for you, just do it while you shower. How do I... wait. Okay, we're good. Oh! You think these guys will kill us if we touch them? Take a nice sip of night coffee real quick. normal You're humble and, and lovable. lovable. Bless you, sir. <laughs> Bless you, sir. They sound like a child's cough. Made your own windows noises? Oh, I love doing that. I haven't done that for my computers recently. But I used to change all a colorful log. Enter the log? Okay. Um... I used to make all my window. I used to make all my windows sounds earthbound sound effects. Um. Is that just teaching us that we can do that? Ah. Uh. Something resembling a bird cage. Pitch dark inside. We'll go in. Turn on your night vision. This game doesn't let us do anything. Can't walk around all tiny. Can't go in the dark. Can't go in the small house. Can't climb the weird trees. I'm gonna make the window <laughs> noises really fucked up different things, but never had the courage. Not noises that are fucked up, but just a window's noise. It's weird. Just like distorted window sounds. As they should be. 
I guess we have to go back in the colorful log and hope it lets us keep going this time. Unless maybe we can move the log? Just swap a bunch of the default noises? Do I just sit here until like a bird takes us away? Take a sip. Error noise equals startup sound. Where do we go? Lizard wizard. We have to get tiny. We for sure have to get tiny. There's no way we wouldn't have to get tiny, but how do we go anywhere once we're tiny? Liz Wiz. Do you think anybody, um, abbreviates King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard as Gizzy Wizzy Lizzy? Gizzy Lizzy Wizzy? I hope so, too. Gizzy Wizzy was a Lizzy. Gizzy Lizzy had no fizzy. Gizzy Wizzy wasn't Wizzy. Gizzy Wizzy. Why can't we go in the dark? Maybe if... King Glizzy Wizzy. The Glizzy Gulper. If I just mash real good. Surely this will accomplish. I, f I really feel like I'm supposed to be able to walk off to the right here. Do I have to cut down a tree? The log looks like that. So maybe that's the hint. Because I have to go interact with one of those weird trees. I have to like chop one of these lads down. Hmm. Do I gotta go back and talk to the tooth fairies? Can't read the writing. Why they call hot dogs glizzies? Why they call hot dogs shaboing boings? This is not what they are. I will accept hot dog. I will accept wiener. Do I have to interact with all of these? Can I push you into the log? Do I- wait. Do I have to wait until one of these is, like, right up next to the log? To interact with it? feels like we're about to get swooped up by a bird. I 
I'm listening for audio cues. I don't think there's any. Change every Windows sound to this. Nixie. Hey, can you tell me where Sandman is? Oh, that's right. You did say you had business with Sandman. I never want to see the stubborn old coot myself. Just go straight ahead and there's a tiny house. That's Sandman's. You'll know it when you see it. What's wrong? Choked up? My mom told me about the Sandman when I was little. I got the feeling he was really scary, but I can't remember why. Scary? He's not scary. Sandman's just a regular fairy. You'll see when you meet him, Sophie. Don't try to drag me into the swamp again. Oh, please. It's my job. Lay off it, would ya? Did somebody pay you for that? I'm gonna go back and talk to the Tooth Fairy again, just in case. Something tells me we can't do anything. Yeah. We gotta have the dialogue progress. Now watch. We go to the house. And it's gonna be like, oh, this is the Sandman's little house? We can't fit in it now. Don't tell me this is the Sandman's house? It's, it's so tiny. <laughs> is this a house for ants? How can I even get inside? Perhaps with the power of a colorful log. Perhaps with the power... Can't read it. Perhaps with the power of a colorful log now we can get tiny and a little let us leave. I'm understanding how this game works now. Take the log. Okay then, hold on. Can I deploy the log? What if somebody needed that? The candle has a wavering purple flame. Oh, that's... A hemispherical globe of sorts. It can't be a globe if it's a hemisphere. That's a half a globe. Hmm, what could this be? People used to think Earth was flat, so if you went past the edge of the sea, you'd fall off. Kind of clocks on the wall, all of them are stopped. Some kind of machine. David, um, a lullaby said the Sandman stopped time all around the world. Maybe he used this machine. Push buttons. I'm gonna save. What are y'all's top 10 things you don't want to run into in a spooky tiny castle? Mine would probably be spiders. Because if you're tiny, they're going to be real big. And you're going to be a delicious treat to them. Is that art? Is this one of those paintings you gotta, like, wear red glasses so that you don't see the red parts and then it unveils the true picture? <laughs> Everything is art. It's true. A beautiful sunset is art. Ooh. There's definitely be gonna be a candle color puzzle. This is the world's largest game of Guess Who. Photo of a girl in a placard. The writing on it is in a strange language. Photo of a boy in a placard. Boy.
boy in a placard, boy in a placard, boy in a placard, girl in a placard, boy in a placard, boy in a placard, girl in a placard, boy in a placard, boy in a placard, girl in a placard. Is this a photo of me as a kid? What's this doing here? Boy in a placard. Get placard. Did I go this way? Dining room. A black lizard of sorts. Seems to be dead. Large pot. Stack of pink crates. Contains yellowish green liquid. Fruits of some kind. Hmm. The valve on the wall. White flower with red fruits. All of this is gonna be important later and I'm worried about it. A weird blue liquid creeps along the floor. Well, that's slime. I think we're gonna have to make a potion. Ah. Uh, blue is down. Red is up. Ooh. No horses? Why not? I should want to go right, but I think that's a trick. Blue is down, right? Just sends me all the way down. Wait. What was that? There's a switch on the wall. Picture of something with an X over it. Horses can be allowed, I think. I'm sorry, Himbot. I know you love horses. It won't open. Maybe it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> scary. <laughs> scary. <laughs> I thought the Sandman attacked me. <laughs> Exclamation points. Oh, his eyes are so... Oh, his eyes are so big. You're... The Sandman. Well, what's that in your hand? It's a spoon. Oh, a, a spoon. <sighs> scoops out your eyes. That's what the Sandman does, is he scoops out your eyes. Look at those <laughs> Hands, tiny hands, tiny spoon. Holding a little spoon. Is that what he does? It is what he does. He Cadbury surprise you. Scoop out your eyes, replace them with Cadbury eggs. Ah, you are still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. This is probably our mom reading us a story, huh? A terrifying st Why was our mom reading us scary stories if we're sleepy? Gonna pat him on the head and, sh and shake him around just a little. He does look so shakable. <laughs> Inverse Peppino, the least Italian man. The terrifying story of the Sandman. Well, the Sandman, he doesn't like children who stay up. So he digs out their eyes with a spoon and makes them into stew. <laughs> Hmm. 
No. Don't come near me. We're leaving. Nope. Don't run. Sandman's waiting. Hey. Hey. Go. <laughs> Go away. Don't take my eyes. Go in here? No, I can't. Sandman hates horses. If I was a horse. This <laughs> is a Scooby Doo chase scene. Oh. Wait, was there no way to escape, or are we about to eat our own eyeballs in a stew? the kick of the Sandman over almost had him. I don't know what we were supposed to do. Maybe we were supposed to get caught. I definitely haven't been sleeping so good lately. Um, and just when my sleep schedule is about to be fixed, I end up doing something and staying up too late. Like finding a really good story and reading it or like hanging out and just staying up too late. And then my sleep schedule is ruined all over again. What? Why did he force me to come here? Eek! The soup is full of eyeballs. Are these children's eyes? Nope. It smells awful. I'm gonna be sick. Just looking at it makes me want to barf. Does he want me to eat this? There's no way. I die- you won't die from eating a little eyeball. He must mean to kill me with this. Then he'll dig out my eyes and make me into stew. Sophie, Sophie, eat up, eat up! Why? Food, food, eat up! I can't save here. What do y'all think? Put a one in chat if you think we should eat some eyeballs. I'm gonna take a sip, you. Secret third option, just don't press any buttons. Maybe they're not even eyeballs. Maybe they're just, like, peeled grapes. You could probably throw the tablecloth over and it'll be confused you could run away. You could probably just wrap them in the tablecloth and mail them to, like, Australia. What animal are they coming from? Children. Children's eyeballs. Consume peeled grapes. It's not eyeballs and, s and organs for realsies. It's just peeled grapes and spaghetti. We're gonna eat these. <laughs> That's not a good sound. <laughs> Made the windows noises Mario noises? Yeah! Is one of them the Goomba stomping sound? Oh. <laughs> Got an achievement, fussy eater. Get a game over by eating the Sandman's cooking. Well. Yeah, what if we like the eyeballs? What if it was a, um... What if it was, like, a gourmet? What if it was, like, an actual delicacy? <laughs> it's not eyeballs. My man just can't cook. He doesn't even know. He probably, like, undercooked them. He didn't season them. Didn't sear them to, s to seal in the flavor bah, before popping them in the stew. So should I just go ahead and let him catch me now?
I'm going to see if I can grab that lizard. Once upon a time, there was a man of sand. It's like a weird sounding turkey. No horse. Now, can I remember where it is? Okay. Yippee! Yippee! Yeah, unseasoned eyeballs are the worst. Not that you'd know or anything. They just sound bad. You gotta season your food. I guess, yeah, Himbot did say yes, so I think you could eat one of Him's eyes. They'll grow back. So we're not eating this time. Even though the little puffs are telling us to. Eat, eat. No. Eat, eat. We did it last time and we died of it. Chew, chew. That's what trains say. I'm so sorry. I can't eat your nasty, nasty food. Uh, um, this looks really good, but you see, I'm not hungry. It's really too bad. How did we get into this situation again? Well, once upon a time, Sophie Grundle couldn't sleep and then got bullied at school and then woke up in the middle of the night to find an old man on the ground. And then she went around and everybody was on the ground because everybody was big sleeping except for her good friend David who bought her cake because she spilled ice cream. And David was like, man, we should go around and like look for people who are maybe still awake or see what's going on. Sophie said, no, we have to split up. And so we went into a school building, and in the school building there were red ghost girls, and the red ghost girls were like, we're going to take your friend and be bullies, and then um, we had to play hide and seek. And then we're like, well, this is weird. Uh, let's go to the mall. And we went to the mall, and the girl who bullied us was there, and she said, um, your mom's dead, lol. And then she got caught by soldiers, and they were going to shoot her with firing squads, so we solid snaked her out of the mall. Uh, and then she ran away and we were like, damn, why are all our friends running away when we save them? Even though some of them are our enemies. And then David's like, what about your dad? And so we went to our dad's job work and we went there and we're like, Papa, we love chupacabras, but there was no chupacabra there. Instead, there was a dragon and the dragon was burning the whole building down. And then we got, we got out, but our tooth fell out and then our dad might be dead. And then David's like, just kidding, they're not dead, they're nightmares, because you wanted this to happen, and I'm my name's Lullaby, not David, and, um, you want to go see the Sandman? He's the one who did this, he put everybody to sleep, except for Insomniacs. And so now we're going to go see the Sandman, because we're like, why did you do this? <laughs> Sorry, they're serving soup. Biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy is really good. Yeah, we literally walked up to the man who scoops out eyes without thinking he would even bother to scoop out our eyes. Yeah, what a strange series of events. We could have just stayed home. Could have been fine. I'm not hungry. It's really too bad. Really, such a shame. I'm just too full to eat right now, so I'm sorry. Hmm. Cartoon as blinking sounds. You should do that more often. Blink. Your eyes probably wouldn't be so bloodshot if you blinked more. Sandman, you're not eating? <laughs> Dear Luna Raid, hello, 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 Zing, 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 ba. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Wait, you... I can't wait to forget you changed your windows noises. You were playing splat, right? How would go the splat? Did you win it? Did you in it? Did you fin it? Did you um, do a backflip? Did you do a pew 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 and shoot? Did you do a roll and a splat? Did you do a bucket and a splat? Did you do a snipe and a splat? I'm pretty sure you did at least one splat, right? Unless you were doing a splatless challenge, which I'm sure people do. The splatless challenge is where you don't splat and you don't get splat. You just have a fun time. Got a clutch overtime win in your last game. Let's go. Yippee. It was insane. Highest black. 28 from one game? This is a lot of splat. I don't think I've ever seen it be above 20 before. I don't think I've ever seen it above 15 before. 
for a roller main, you got to get splats. Just roll right over them. They'll never see it coming. Do people just walk right into your roller? Do people not understand? Sometimes I don't understand. You just got buffs to roller too. Oh, right. There was like a patch yesterday, the day before. It was yesterday, right? It was Tuesday patch. I don't pay any attention to the meta of Splatoon. I'm like, I want to see what the funny, I want to, I want to get in there and hear the funny sounds. That's what I want to do. All the time they just walk into or under it. They see a squid or an octo and they say, hey, I'm going to walk towards that. Little do they know there's a tube involved and the tube is a roller. <laughs> and a thousand assists. I feel as a woomy main. My, um, my main is I like to swim around in the ink. I like to go. <laughs> I like to do the thing where you move and then you paint. And then sometimes you kill, but then sometimes you get killed. And you're like, damn, I got killed. I shouldn't get killed so much. But you don't have enough practice because you're too busy reading manga instead of playing Splatoon. I'm determined to win the catalog, win the catalog, beat the catalog, complete the catalog this season. I have yet to complete a catalog. I don't put enough hours into the funny squid game. Or Paul Splart? Paul Splart Squid Bart? The moral of the story, though, is everybody go play Splatoon. It's a very fun game. We just got into a castle, and the Sandman's trying to scoop out our eyes, but first he's trying Maul Carp. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Paul Blart Maul Carp. Is there a mall in Splatoon? There's a mart, right? Oh no! What was the mart? There's a stage that's a mart. Oh no, you need your eyes. We need our eyes for sure to see. Mako Mart. I was like, Mahi Mart. That's not it at all. I, that's the one thing of the patch I do know is that Mahi got different. Mahi different now. Mahi bigger. Bigger than before. Just like the egg. You guys know about the bigger oh, than before egg? Barnacle and Dime. Oh, there's two Marts. Maybe it's Paul Blart Mart Carp. Hold on, I gotta show you guys it bigger than before. Have to read your message the way the Vine guy did. Paul Paul Splart Marl Carp. Paul Paul Splart Mart Carp. I don't remember what that vine is. Hold on, is that the, is that the Paul Paul Blart Mark Oh, Paul Paul Blart, Mall Carp, Par, Park Carp, Mark Clarp. I didn't remember him now. Paul Paul Blart, Mall Cop, Paul Paul Blart, Mall Cop, Paul Paul Blart, Mark Cop, Park, Bart Clarp, Bart Clarp, Bart, Bart Clarp, Bart Clarp, Paul Clarp Clarp, Park Blart, Bart, Bart Clop, Block, Bart, Cop, Park, Bart, Mall Cop. One hour of silence occasionally interrupted by Pikmin. You can start streaming it regularly. I should stream more Splatoon. I th I forget. I feel like I joked at some point about um. This is so loud. Anyway, this is bigger than before. Just like Mahi. Bigger than before. Wow. Maple syrup. Wait, one day. Water. Die. Wait, one day. Bigger than before. <laughs> bigger than before. Just like Mahi. Bigger than before. <laughs> bigger than before. Wait, what is this pack builder? DK64 randomizer pack builder. That has nothing to do with eggs. 
Yeah, I don't think you should eat that egg. It's soaked in, like, vodka and maple syrup and water and dye. It's a multiple-day-old, unrefrigerated egg, but it's bigger than before. Crash 2. Get a YouTube playlist. Paul, Paul Blart, Mall Cop. Paul, Paul Blart, Paul Cop. The moral of the story is, I, oh yeah, everybody go click that link, by the way. Scroll up a little bit in chat. See that thing that says, Himbot says, go follow, do it. Click that link. Go to www.twitch.w.tv.w.fearluna and you're going to be like, I want to see cool Splatoon. I want to see clutch roller wins. <laughs> I want to, I want to see wins and techniques and strategies and just have a good time and have fun and just um, everything's positive and good. And so you're going to go there and you're going to follow and then you're going to be like, Yee, wee, yahoo, yippee. and everything will be better in the world for it. The end. It's all songs in Donkey Kong 64 sound font. Noonie new flimpy. Hounced. Wimst. Who, who has done this? Your comp name is Toxic Positivity, and boy, that is what you're going to see. It's going to be so sweet, your teeth rot out. And then the Sandman's... Wait, no, the Tooth Fairy's going to take your teeth, but it'll be worth it, I think. You can listen to them on the site, but who has done this and why? It turns songs into Donkey Kong. Um, It's on, like, Donk Conk. Tooth Fairy from Darkness Falls is going to come by. Tooth Fairy from this game is going to come by. We had to talk to the Tooth Fairy. We had to give a tooth to the Tooth Fairy. We gave a tooth to the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy didn't like it because it was a big tooth and he wanted a kid tooth. So we put some magic plant juice on the tooth and it turned into a baby tooth. And then he took the baby tooth. Normal. And right now we're eating eyeballs with the Sandman, except we're refusing to eat eyeballs with the Sandman. Because when we did eat eyeballs with the Sandman, we died of it. We died about it. People make them in the sound font so it can be put in the game. So is that just like a collection of all of them? There could be more. They could do more. They should make all of the music from oh, no. Plock in Donkey Kong sound font. You hate dying about eating eyeballs. It's literally one of the worst ways to die. Like top 100 ways to die eating eyeball soup so bad that you die about it. We should live about it instead. That's what we did this time. We decided to not eat it, and now we're living. But it's a little concerning because the Sandman... I don't know what's up with him. It's okay, it's okay. Die about it is a new one, and I love it. It's like when you say, like, die angry about it, except you just take out the angry and you die about it. The only restriction for the site is its video game music. Well, Plock is a video game. Oh, speaking of Plock, are they making a new one? Did they... Did Plock become real? He wants to be Hannibal so bad. He wants to be Hannibal so bad, but he has none of the cooking prowess. It's okay, it's okay. Bye, Sandman. Am, am I saved? Found some really good arrangements of plock music. Ooh, can you drop those in the Discord? Some sort of bluegrass salad, probably. Is that the bluegrass that make you a baby? They don't have plock. Tragic. They should fix that. Plock music is so good. Green liquid overflowing with yellow bubbles. Smells sour. Can I eat the eyeballs now? Um, was it was it Uncle Punch that dropped a really good uh plock remix the other day? It was somebody. Somebody drop the Plos Boss Plock plo, Plock Boss theme remix a whiles back. They have Doki Doki Li Did Doki Doki Literature Club have music in it? I guess we're just fine now. I guess we're just okay now. Wait. I wonder what those fuzzy things are. Maybe I should try talking to them. Oh, I guess we can't leave. Dwayne the Plock Johnson. What this? Do they- 
the fr oh well Your reality was 10 out of 10. Was that in Doki Doki? That is a song from Doki Doki. I've heard it. That's the one with lyrics, right? Or maybe I guess there's just covers that of it that have lyrics. I never played Doki Doki Literature Club, but I watched a playthrough of it. Yeah, the main character singing. I think that one was on my um. Oh, it does have lyrics in the game. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Dinky. Donkey Literature Club? Donkey Donkey. Doki Doki. The Donkey Kong 64 sound font is actually very good, it seems. They for sure have Undertale music, right? They must. They have a Mogus. They must. That's like all the best Puyo Puyo. The best music that exists nowadays of modern video game mystery. What is Wolfenny? What is Red Vox? Glitch Glider? Events. <laughs> Never gonna give you up, Jingle. I'm loving it, McDonald's. Discord notification. You posted them, they're recorded live? Hold on. Goodbye, Donkey's Kong. We're gonna listen to Beach, because that's the one that's in my channel trailer. Um, I'm definitely gonna check all of these out. Ooh. Music is good. Did you guys know about this? Wait, Red Vox? Yeah, I don't know what that is. But it's up here. Red Vox by Glitch Glider. I don't know if Glitch Glider is the game. I'm guessing... Is Glitch Glider the person that made it? God, it's beautiful. I'm gonna listen to all of these. I don't know what this is. But it's very cool. Redbox is a band made by Internet Club. It's a Vinnie Vine Sauce band? Yes, sir. My cat has arrived. Song's called. What do you want? Can I help you, sir? You say round? Don't eat the cables. You must not eat the cables. Armored Core is too good. I really want to play Armored Core. I don't know if that would be a good game for me to stream because I don't know if I can play a game that requires focus on a stream. I don't think I have the brain's power for that. I can barely play a game that doesn't require focus. Yeah, Choking on the Spite by Red Flag. Okay, Glitch Glider must be the name of the person that converted it then. Definitely a focus-heavy game. I'm not good at games, is the thing. I'm not very good. I can play games that require skill, but they take me a very long time to get my skill to the point that I can win them. Can I help you, sir? I have acquired one lap cat. Will you do a meow, please, for the camera? Will you do one meow, please, for the camera? Sir? He will do no such meows. He will only sit in my lap and be so soft. 
do good with luck on tabletop games. I can do puzzle. I can do puzzle usually. If I'm streaming, my puzzle powers are well enough that I think I do average on puzzles on stream and I do so good at puzzles off stream. Games that require like button press skill though, like action-y games. I'm trying to remember when is the last time I, I know I've played at least like one platformer on this stream. Right? I played Psycho Waluigi. That was probably the last game that required any sort of, like, actually pressing buttons in time. That one wasn't terrible. Munch, munch, munch. Hey, what are you guys? We're dust. The dust of this house. Dust? Yeah, we're helpers for the Sandman. We clean up his sleeping sand. I saw you in my world, too. You were cleaning up his sand then? Just use all the songs so you can get any songs where in the randomize. Can I help you, sir? One little lad sitting in my lap. Sticky out his leggy so far. A baby boy. Yeah, that's our job. Tasty, tasty, good meal. Guys love to eat eyeball. Armor core gets quite tough after a while. Turns into reading enemy patterns and dodging and stuff resource management. Yeah, it it definitely strikes me as a game that um has challenge to it. No, there's a platform in your channel trail. Oh yeah, I um Frog Gun. Kettle Blaster, that's what it is. <laughs> Kettle Blaster was one of the first games I played. I think the very first game I ever streamed was Dear God, which is a platformer, but not a very hard one. I played Kettle Blaster. There's limited healing and stuff. Like mid-battle or post-battle? Your wounds don't carry over post-battle, right? They wouldn't do that to you. Wish you had a little lad in your lap. Acquire one cat and you will never face this problem in your life again. There will always be a lad in your lap whether you want it or not. Not post battle. Okay. I was concerned. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. They love to be eating eye balls. I do want to at some point... My mouse. Get that off screen. I want to... I haven't ever played getting over it. And I've heard that's a game of struggling. Piece of paper on the floor. Got some kind of mammo. You can't read what this says. Why not? In your current rando, you've got some me channel, some Power Rangers, some F-Zero, some Knights. Getting over it is at least a meme in design. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Cleaning, cleaning. Cause I'm bored, you know. Like it's a game designed to make you mad, right? That's why it's called getting over it. It's cause like you're supposed to get I don't know, like vent your frustrations and get over it. I've seen like clips of it and stuff. Yeah, it's meant to make you tilt. Like it's supposed to be like ridiculously difficult. You're a little man in a pot with a stick and you have to get your pot up over like a big old mountain, but it's really hard, and apparently like you can just fall. If you do it right, five minute game. But most likely it will take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Cleaning, cleaning. Because I'm bored, you know. Hey, so who did the painting on the wall? Sandman. Sandman is even good at arts. There's a horse in this painting. I can see it. See, my greatest um, ability is... Can I take that memo, too? Greatest ability of don't get mad. I'm so good at not being mad at things. I've probably been... slightly mad on stream, like... a couple times? But I don't think I've ever gotten, like, yelling, shouting mad. The story seems to be late stage capitalist, the game for Armored Core 6. Yeah, I follow some people on Tumblr who played it, and I'm like, 
the story is what interests me. Just like the idea of being like a mercenary style. Um, I think we died. Mercenary style mech pilot where you just like do jobs for people. And sometimes you do jobs for people you were doing jobs against previously. Oh, do I have to go through the chase scene again? Did I forget to save? We're just gonna mash this. Where you going, bud? Bye, sir. Definitely gotten mad at games on stream before. Alright, come on, man. Scoop out our eyes. I'm trying to think. I don't think there was any game that made me, like, actually, like, legitimately angry. I think I was definitely frustrated at some, some he's, uh, uncomfortable. He's the Sandman. He doesn't like kids who sl stay up late, so he digs out their eyes with a spoon and makes them into stew. Gobble, 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 gobble. Come on. Take your eyes. Getting over it reminded you of this? Is that a Toho? <laughs> Is that a Toho mod for getting over it? Eyes. <laughs> Powerful. Paper. Oh, right, you did Paper Mario Master Quest. You did, like, challenge games. I simply play games the way they're meant to be, and they are a challenge for me. Pokemon Stadium Kaizo 100% gotten you. Think it's just animation? Aw. They should have modded it. I'm tr I don't think I've ever... I have to be careful not to accidentally say eat. I've never been one for playing challenge modes of games. Sometimes if there's like a little challenge within the main game that you like don't have to do, but you can unlock some cool stuff for doing it, I'll do that. Like, I'll do challenges that'll get you like the good end of a game or like Hollow Knight, I had to make sure to beat the whole Coliseum but I've never done, like, a super big challenge, hard mode, extra hard, make you suffer version of a game. You hated the general guy rematch. To this day, you haven't completed it. Could not believe general guy rematch in Luigi's challenge. Simply don't. There's other games. <laughs> Who needs general guy? Just let him die. Or I guess not killing him would mean he doesn't die. Just let him live. You could be playing a different paper game. Talk to you. Learn that you're their dust. Munch, munch, munch. Yum, yum, yum. And we save. You shop at General Gaia all the time. You are a suffering elemental. Don't suffer. There's too much in life to do to waste time suffering. Played Kingdom Hearts 2 level 1 critical mode twice. I played Kingdom Hearts to level one, ninety percent, because I rented a game. I don't even know if I play. I rented Kingdom Hearts two from Blockbuster. The disc was scratched, so when you got to the first boss, it froze. That's my entire experience with Kingdom Hearts two. Also, I didn't like the way Donald and Goofy sounded, so I skipped all the cutscenes, so I had no clue what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> Blockbuster, yes. This was probably at least 15 years ago. Candy! Candy! 
miss Blockbuster candy? I just miss the way VHSs feel. Something about just holding, um, holding a plastic rectangle is very good. Now we've got phones, which are a different kind of rectangle. They're like a metal rectangle or a glass rectangle, which isn't terrible. Cha. Yeah, the Nickelodeon orange ones. Watch that Rugrats in Paris on orange VHS. I don't think I owned any colorful VHSs. Just gonna save here. Two, three, four. I have to do four. I'm trying to think of some of the hard games you've played. <laughs> that one exactly. Suffering Elemental, the lesser-known counterpart of the Pain Elemental. Does the Pain Elemental cause pain? How many of these fires am I supposed to wait for? Still truck trying to get 100% Ridge Racer. I don't think- I think, like, the only ones where I try to, like, 100% games is if they're- collectible like if it's getting the collectibles like i'll put it this way i did all of the shrines in breath of the wild but i did not find all of the koroks <laughs> like to collect achievements but you have a limit yeah exactly it's like i like to do things i like to complete a collection but there's a point where it's like i don't need to do that three four five go blue fire i don't want to save over our dad so we're just gonna skip him lever it's currently up lower level there's a big hole where the glass floor was fire does come back i'm gonna have to drop somebody down there Ow! What? I hit something. It is correct you went through all of Bug Fables with the hard mode metal equipped? No! It's like two races you need to be beat to get the RR64 car that has perfect stats. Hold on, are these clear glass walls? Uh, invisible maze. Eh. Uh. Something is going to chase us through here. Don't like it. Something is for sure going to chase us through here. Hundred percent. I don't like that. I don't like that. Man, I don't like this room. I wish I could mark my way somehow. Could we get some, like, bread crumbs? <coughs> Colorful liquid, shiny red liquid. Can we use this to mark our way? I wonder if I could use this to mark a path in the other room. Please? I use this to leave a trail, it'll be easier to find my way through. Are you getting channel trailer as a YouTube ad? Who's channel trailer? Oh god, that looks a lot like just blood on the floor. N-S-G-N-S-N-C-N-O-N-E-N-N-E-N-B-B -B is a no sphere grid, no summons, no customize, no overdrives, no escape, no no encounterability, and no blitz ball. How could you have no blitz ball? Oh, she's keeping the bottle. How sensible. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll hold on to this bottle. We could put something in there later. We got an empty bottle. Uh-huh. 
So does that mean... How do we get to the ladder? Can we not? I guess we can't go to the ladder. Google, you refuse to believe that wasn't a keyboard smash? Your highlight from seven years ago. Neon tube. There are eight stones embedded in the door. There's a door here? Oh. Crystals. Red, white, blue, pink, green, yellow, purple, gold. I guess that's lighter. That's like a what? Like a chartreuse. And the one that I called white, I guess, is just a blue. But there's blue next to it. I'm gonna write this down. This seems like the sort of thing that they're gonna ask us to remember later. Red, white, blue, pink, green, green, light, purple, yellow. Keep thinking about that Burton Ernie video. I. Why have they made this? Why? Who heard that song and thought, you know who the best characters to do like a little like fan cam vid to? To do a little like work it twerk it video for? What if we did Burton? <laughs> we did Burton Ernie. What if we did them just absolutely slaying? Himbot says, wow. Ert and Bernie. Here's how Ert and Bernie can still win. Ah! Hello. No. Did I do a save? Himbot loves to eat trash. That person has equally, if not more, unhinged makeup looks on their account. No. All right. I'm really glad we marked this. I bet we would have gotten an achievement if we made it through without marking it. No. I tried to do the ladder. I tried to do the lever. I tried to do it. Get a game over by failing to escape the Sandman. Okay, we just gotta mark this again. We can fix this. I don't know, I don't think her body exists. There's a him, but I don't think there's a her. Unless you're talking about the one from the movie her, which I haven't seen yet. But I heard it's good. I heard it's good. Salad. Salad. You see, sexy salad fingers is the most unhinged one? Why? Can you unread that? Can I also unread that? You know, actually, that's not so unhinged. I feel like middle school teens were thirsting over salad fingers back in the day. I was never one to care for salad fingers. Can I get over the microwave buttons? We watched Salad Fingers and was uncomfortable as a teen. I watched Sal Salad Mander Fingers in elementary school and I was like, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like it. I will say, my least favorite inter. Salad. <laughs> you send the sexy salad figures makeup video? Yes. I want because I do want to see it now is the thing. I don't know what bonus stage is. Did I see that? 
the internet ch- cartoons that everybody was wild about when um, I was a child were Salad Fingers, which I didn't like very much. Uh, Charlie the Unicorn. Everybody seemed to love that, but I didn't care much for it. You're wild about End of the World. End of the World I didn't see until, like, I want to say high school. But I did enjoy that one. I like the Weebles cartoons, like the Badger Badger Mushroom and, like, Magical Trevor. Um, God, one Flash animation I think about regularly is, yeah, Weeble and Bob. I don't, did, did anybody ever watch the Eskimo Bob car, Flash cartoons? I don't think they were good. I don't think they were good. I'm pretty sure if you watched them now, you'd be like, yeah, these have not aged well at all. Literally got Eskimo in the title. Um, but I remember watching those a lot as a child. Homestar Runner does still hold up. Everybody can go appreciate HomestarRunner.com. Uh, weird Newgrounds flash animations. Yeah, Homestar Runner is still brilliant has been always will be brilliant like i go back some when you go back and watch things that you watched in your childhood it really is a game of was this actually good or was i just like 10 a lot of the time the answer is you were just 10 and it's not very good at all but sometimes sometimes you were blessed with a treasure like homestar runner where you go back and you're like oh oh this is very good and i love it still Oh, also, I am looking at your robot, Gibzooks, and it is a very good robot. Oh. I don't like the salad fingers. I need to figure out a, um... How do I boil my rice? I need to figure out. Hold on. Let me just pop a window capture on here. Video. Upsetting. (laughs) Upsetting to look at. Burninating all the people and their thatched roof cottages. Thatched roof cottages. I don't want to click play on this. I don't want to click play on this video. It's also probably going to be extremely loud. Hold on. How do I boil my rice? Yeah, I'm sorry for that, real quick. Let me just turn that down. Wait, it's not even capturing it. <laughs> dun dun. It's not even capturing it. You guys are missing out on the extreme salad fingers booty that I'm looking at right now. Hold on. I think I have to capture this as a game instead of a window. Game capture. Movie time. Capture specific salad. Maybe you are all safe. Maybe you are all safe from this. Maybe nothing can ever hurt you. How do I bl- also, I just realized I turned the system down very, very much. I'm going to need to pop a lot of yippies in chat real quick. <laughs> Until the sound effect volume is right where it should be. I think it should be four. Thank you, Nightbot. (laughs) Thank you, Pass. Does that sound right? Is that quieter than normal? Slimpy. No, no, no. Slimpy. Yippee. Yippee. (laughs) Skittles. Me. 
Bim Diddly? What is Bim Diddly? Is that a new sound I should get? So. Siri me wee. <laughs> Siri me wee hee hee. Kelly! Hi, Kelly! Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hold on, we have to see Underdog real quick. You're humble and lovable. Bless, Bless you, sir. sir. <laughs> okay, I think that's probably fine. If it's too loud, we can turn it down later. Um... <sighs> You guys are all being extremely protected right now from this horrible, horrible beast. I'm going to do window capture one more time. Yeah, it like doesn't even show you the frame that I'm on. It only, sh it only shows you the, the very first frame of the video. Nightbot is so scared of this. You are humble and lovable. Bless you, sir. <laughs> Ma, it's in the house again. Not to be confused with scrupulous finger. You refreshed your screen to see that? Well, this is supposed to be sexy salad fingers, but um, the other option I can do is I can just pull the video in, which you will hear and I will not. How do I boil my rasta? Terrible. Terrible and terrifying. It's also probably extremely loud for It's probably also extremely loud for <laughs> It's probably also extreme. I'm gonna give up on this. The world does not want you guys to suffer. The world does not want you guys to suffer. Salad fingers jump scare. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? You are protected. You are protected by the fact that this is a downloaded video and not on a browser. <laughs> what was that? That was Salad Fingers' sexy um, fan cam, I think. Makeup tutorial. Or something along those lines. Um, eight stones. I'm just gonna double check that these are in the right order, and also we're gonna... Open this back up so that I can see them. <laughs> not like that. You guys got a taste of it. You got a taste, and nobody has to see anymore. <laughs> Suffering is self-inflicted. If anybody needs to see the salad fingers, they're in the videos. <laughs> videos in the Discord. <sighs> Upsetting. I'm gonna go ahead and unsplode myself salad. real quick. Salad. <laughs> I also love how it says salad every time salad fingers mentions. You've seen so much worse. Yeah, I like, there's definitely worse on the internet. There's worse all over the place. Still upsetting, though. Decided to take a break from your homework. Homework should be illegal. They shouldn't have you go to school. I forgot we're running away from him. They shouldn't have you go to school and then have you come home and then do more work. Salad. Salad. I'm gonna drive to work tomorrow and just think about sexy salad fingers. It's a curse. It's a curse on our brains. Um, we're gonna not die. Nope, um, can I not pull that lever? Siri me wee hee hee. I should have that go off if somebody says Siri. Uh, Siri me wee hee hee hee. Siri me wee hee hee hee. Hold on. I don't know why that doesn't go off when Select. people say Siri. I think maybe it's because I was thinking, um,. There's probably words with Siri in it, like serious. Is serious spelled like that? Or is that an E in there? Super secret, sexy, salivating cilantro salad fingers. Oh, you got that cilantro soap gene? My mom has that. Siri me wee hee hee. Siri me wee hee hee. Siri me wee hee hee. Okay, there is an E in serious. Sirius. Siri me wee hee hee. 
All right. I guess we can't pull the lever and we just got to go. Which is dumb because it really feels like you're supposed to be able to pull that lever. Yeah. Siri me wee hee hee. Siri me wee hee hee. Okay, we have to pull that lever. There's no way. Right? Water? Water? Yeah, I'll take a sippy. I'm all out of night coffee. Maybe we can. Maybe if we just wait. It really feels like we're supposed to pull the lever to make him do a fall. Make him do a funny, funny fall. I'm going to see if I can save in that room. Wow. I love the sound he makes. It's like the world's weirdest turkey. I can't save. <laughs> what if the game is actually called this? Oh god! How did he appear there so fast? Thess and man. Who's Thess? Is that short for thespian? Sophie Grundler is an actor. And the sand man is the man. The Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Working the concession. Plotting his oppression. I'm gonna try the f fire here. Okay, no, we just die. We can't control it. I thought maybe if I stopped after the first set of fire, he would just run into the fire. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back and find the exact angle that I need to interact with that lever. Emerald flame burns. What a pretty color. And even this close to it, it doesn't feel hot. So I tried from the bottom. Maybe if I go from the top. If I go as up as I can go. If I just get in, get in, go up and over. It'll let me press buttons so fast. Other option. Maybe I could bottle the fire. It doesn't work. I was going to try to load my save just so I didn't have to walk through this maze again, but I think it's probably faster to just do this. The only other option I could think is if we start with the lever down, maybe he'll just fall in the pit, but I don't think so. That doesn't feel like a thing an RPG Maker game would do. We're just going, everything's fine, Goblin Man will never get us. Sandman's so slow, he's made of time. No, 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 no. Do I have to loop around? Is that it? Do I have to have the lever down? And then I go around it, and then I turn around, and I go back the other way to get in where the Sandman came from? That's the literal only other thing I could think of. But that's gonna like... 
Actually, no, that doesn't do anything in this room. I thought maybe we'd drop the floor here, too? Gamer is... Puzzle a little hard. Maybe, yeah, maybe he'll just fall in the pit and it'll be fine. Gamer mode, activate. I think what I have to do is I have to run around the pit. And then get right back in the maze, and then come back through, and then come through the door that he just came through. And maybe there'll be something in there that's cool and good to do. But, like, that's the only other place we can go. I'm just gonna have to Scooby-Doo this again. Oh. He do fall in the pit? You jokes to me? You big jokes to me? He fell. Is he gonna be okay? He do fall in the pit. That's... Why? He's smarter than that. He's got his eyes wide open. He lives here. This is his house. He would know where his... <laughs> he would know where his fire pits are. Why are you concerned about his well-being? One step ahead. Drop the Sandman down the trap door. I mean, I, I guess... What's the point of having it up or down? What'd that do for me? What'd the fire do? What purpose is fire? A puzzling machine. Oh, Sophie. Hey, Dust. What's this room? Pretty sure you just extra killed him. No, he's fine. He's a sandman. He's like a fairy or something. He's probably okay. This is where the sandman does his work. He sprinkles sand through those holes there. We help too. Sophie, wow. You made it. You're not hurt? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, what's that on the wall? Looks like a world map. Some orbs on it. Yes, world map. It tells you where it is night, night, away. It tells you where it is night, right away. So Sandman can sprinkle sand there. No work. So bored. Is it better to have work? We must be hard workers. All fairies are hard workers. Us and Tooth Fairy and Nixie and Sandman. Nixie's a fairy? Everybody's a fairy in this game. Hand mirror. Surface is cracked. Let's take it. What's this mirror? It doesn't reflect me. Hey, Dust. How do you use this thing? It's a mystical mirror. Just think about where you want to go and you'll go whoosh right there. Magic mirror. Get. Hole in the floor, 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 hole in the floor. Machine. Excuse me, dust. A room of mirrors this time. Magic mirror. Mirror, mirror in my pocket. Wait. Oh. My controls are reversed. Something's gonna chase me through here, too. Oh. Hey, Sophie. Still wandering around? Mirror, mirror in my pocket. What's on today's docket? Um, I don't know. Snow Snow White? You're gonna go play cards with Snow White? Lullaby? What are you doing here? Can't I be wherever I want to be? I thought about tea with the Sandman, but he seems busy. Really, he should take it easy since he's got no work. Sandman gonna chase me through mirror mode. It's boring drinking tea alone. How about it, Sophie? No, thanks. I don't want to drink tea looking at you. Wow, that's just mean. I know you're annoyed, but that's no reason to be so harsh. Yes, busy. Mm-hmm. He's busy in a pit. 
Wow, won't even talk to me now, David Lullaby? Rude. A beautiful statue. A bucket of presumably water, my favorite kind. It's a view out the window, door plate you can't read. Locked and won't open. Am I supposed to get, um, David Crooked Man Lullaby? That's his full name. Uh-huh. Huh? It broke. Did I not think hard enough? Oops. That doesn't seem right. I don't like that. I'm gonna need that, I think. Surely I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna, like, need to fix it. And not just shatter it. Oh, come on. Huh? It won't open. Why? What? This singing. It's coming from this statue. Is the statue... It's the world's faintest singing. I can barely hear it. Um. Huh? I feel weak. So, so sleepy all of a sudden. Why? Because you've been up for seven days. Sounds like a tuning fork. Sounds like somebody singing like four rooms away. Is it this song? I have to do something or I'll fall asleep. Well, you'll be fine if you fall asleep. Sandman only scoops out the eyes of kids who stay awake. Oh, I'm sorry. Beautiful statue. Topple statue. No good, it's too heavy. Pour water on statue. Splash water. Ugh, so cold. No good, though. It woke me up a little bit. Uh-huh. Jump out window. Scream out window. Ugh. Ugh. No, still sleepy. Door plate can't read. Bang head on statue. That's just gonna hurt me. Yeah! Ow. That hurt, but woke me up a little. Door plate can't read. Door's locked. Beautiful statue. Too heavy. Empty bucket. Broke. Do I just keep hitting my head until I wake up? Thank you, Nightbot. I guess we just keep hitting our head until we wake up. Seems like a good way to fall asleep, if anything. Hitting your head. Fall asleep forever. There's, like, multiple things around. There's, like, a... There's... We can scream out the windows, but that does nothing. We can interact with the statue. We can either hit our head on it or try to topple it. We can splash water on ourselves once. Water wakes us up. Banging our head wakes us up. Screaming does nothing. Unless, what if we just keep screaming out the window? Something tells me that we have to, like, splash water. And then hit our head, like, three times. Afterglow Ampharos Raid! Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We're hitting our head on a statue because I think it's the only way we can survive. Wait. Anymore and I'll faint. Excuse me? We just scream? A lot? Too creepy to, too creepy to scream. Too sleepy to shout. Can't read that. Can't do that. Can't grab the bucket. Can't topple the statue. Memo. Phone. 
Play live music. Dial 911. You won? You beat the Hypnagogia? Oh, we died. It's over. I'm too sleepy to move. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. I hope you guys had a good time playing Bunny Dream Game. Did you get to see the coolest of dreams? Found all the hidden dreams? Let's go! Might be an order of operations thing. I think it's that we had to do everything. I think it's that just we had to remember that our f Hold on now. We weren't able to play a loud music on our phone before. The only thing we could do on our phone is look at the time, and it, we couldn't even swipe to open. Certified dreamer. Some of them were really scary, though most of them... Not most of them, though. Did, thing, did the Sandman chase you through a weird glass tunnel? Should have tried stubbing your toe on the statue. Should have let me just keep hitting my head on that statue. That would have woke us up for sure, realsies. Hi, David. Oh dear, I told you you should have given up. Lullaby, please stop that song. Why? Weren't you wanting to fall asleep? Now you finally can. Makes a good point. Yeah, but I don't want to sleep forever. Please, Lullaby, help. Aren't you, like, duty-bound to do whatever we want you to? Alright, it's off. Isn't that like your whole job is to keep us happy while we awake? Can I help you, sir? My cat says meow, by the way. Uh, I feel bad seeing you so worn out. That's what you get for acting rashly. Enough. Enough! Why did this have to happen? After all that putting up with being sleepless, you try to put me to sleep when I have to be awake? Please, Lullaby, tell me how I can stop the Sandman. I've had enough of this. I just want a normal sleep. www.normalsleep.com How should I know how to do that? Well, you, well, you tell him. Tell him to give up on putting people to sleep forever. I can't do that. Sandman made me. I can't defy him. So I just have to give up? Give up and sleep forever? Normalsleep.com This domain is on sale for $1,795. What a steal. <laughs> what a steal. Well, if anybody had a plot to stop Sandman, I know who it would probably be. Who? Could they stop him? Have you tried proper murder? Can we just murder the Sandman? Then nobody will sleep ever. Leave the house and go east. There's a lake with pink trees along it. That's where you'll find him. Whomst. Wait. Um. What kind of person is he? Someone the Sandman hates. The traps in this house are to keep him out. Oh, and he was the one who exposed me to you back in your world. Loves to get in my way of work, he does. Interesting. Hypnagoji looks like a- Hypnagoji does look like a trip. It looks like a really good game. Be careful, Sophie. It's up to you to trust, but this low life has a thing for cute girls like you. Cute? Let's just save here. Deary me. We scream again. <laughs> hoo hoo. Grundler. Sophie Grundler. A hundred out of a hundred HP. David. See ya. Careful, Sophie. You won't come? Can I help you, sir? My cat is sniffing the mic curiously. Does he know what a microphone is? No, he thinks it's just some object he can rub his face on. Everybody go click that link, by the way. Go to www.afterglowamphoros.com and you're going to see a bunch of really cool... Afterglow, you are always finding, like, the coolest demos. I don't know where you find all these games, but every time I go to your channel, you're playing some game I've never heard of, but the art is always, like, super cute or super cool or super fun. Oh, there is, a, there is the clip of Harvey who meows. It's true he's meowed before. 
Will he do it again? I can hope. He wants to co-host, I bet. Harvey has things to say, but only when he's on the floor. The demos from Next Fest events or Wholesome Games events. I guess I only really pay attention to, like, Wholesome Games, uh... I think, like, Summer Game Fest and then, like, Nintendo Directs are the only time I ever, like, pay attention to game trailers, I guess. Hypnagoji, you found things to errant signal. I think I saw somebody play Hypnagoja when it was still just, like, a demo. Like, a year or two ago. I think I saw a streamer playing it. Was that ever included in one of the, P of the haunted PS1 demo discs? I hate that guy. I don't want to get involved if possible. I... I'm gonna keep our dad there. Take it back. He is a funny guy. Somebody's gonna chase us through here, and I don't wanna. Oh, we're okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. The funny guy quote was from when we played Subway Midnight. Wait, then what are these stones for? We're gonna have to come back to this place, aren't we? We're definitely gonna have to come back. Somehow a better stick is not as good as a good stick. Yeah, a good stick is better than a better stick. Better stick is better than a plain stick. If you knew about stick quality, you would know this. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sometimes in life, you walk directly into the fire and it's okay. I thought that would be it. Now hiring stick quality assurance manager requirements must know about sticks. There's a lot to know about sticks. Everybody thinks that Five. I didn't wait long enough. I think it's five and then I go. Everybody thinks that the best sticks are the ones that are s straight or have like a little bit of a little bend to them. One, two, three, four, five, go. We're good. But. There's more to it than that. There's so many qualities to a stick. And a straight stick might be better for certain kinds of sticks. For example, if you want a stick to use as a sword or a walkie stick, that's the kind of stick you want. But if you want a stick to be like a wreath, you don't want a straight stick for that. You're thinking about Knight's Pick Up Sticks Redeem? Does Knight pick up sticks? A stick that looks like a wooden hoe? That's a good stick! It's a fun looking stick! Oh! Wait, why are you here also? Hey, Sophie. You sure took your time. Was I supposed to talk to him in this room before I talked to him in the tea room? Why did you go ahead of me? You didn't say to take you to Sandman's house. So did you meet him? <laughs> um, we already met you. It plays this audio? Who is this man's? Pick up sticks. <laughs> if you don't, the boogeyman will put them up your ass. Are you Maybe sure about that? Shuffle around you now, bleeding poop hole. One hour of silence occasionally broken by honk sound effect. <laughs> we could just leave that playing the whole time. Hank. Hank. <laughs> Redeem stops after your ass. Honk. Honk.
you got that rare honk. Some of the honks are more rare than others. There's the himbot honk. There's the hank. There's the woman honk. There's the goose honk. There's the car honk. You've heard this so many times. This is the first time you've ever seen that TikTok. Honka honka. You got the shiny honk. You got the hank. I forget which TTS voice. said it like that but i'm pretty sure i just put the word honk in and it shows that pronunciation all on its lonesome it didn't say to take you to sandman's house so did you meet him i did but he chased me down and then he tried to feed me some weird food i was almost killed did you do something bad to him i didn't do anything he just chased me down with a spoon What's wrong with spoons? Sandman digs out children's eyeballs with a spoon and eats them, doesn't he? Um, I mean, I bet he'd be mad if you said that. Who would eat that, he'd say, but he gave us eyeball stew. Huh? But my mom always told me, Look, Sophie, mothers all around the world tell some ridiculous stories, totally straight-faced to get their noisy kids to sleep. Granted. Fairies wouldn't exist if not for wild imaginations. Anyway, Sandman doesn't eat kids' eyes. He was probably just having a snack. Thus the spoon. No way. But, but after that he tried to feed me this weird food. It seemed poisoned. It was so gross. Eating some ice cream. Let's go. What flavor ice cream you rocking? I am slowly making my way through the ice cream in the house. I have a little bit of mango sorbet left and some mint chocolo chip. <laughs> it wasn't even eyeball soup. He just can't cook. He made the world's worst meatballs. It was peeled grapes the whole time, wasn't it? Oh, maybe Sandman was eating some ice cream. You should be eating. Everybody should be eating ice cream. What flavors ice cream do you think the Sandman has in him house? My money's on Rocky Road. That seems like a Sandman kind of food. Oh, you were right to not eat that. Fairy food is poisonous to humans. Man, why would he give you that stuff? You should know humans can't eat it. Well, anyway, while you're here, do what you want done. Just be careful walking around the house. What do you mean? There were traps about for, uh, reasons. Neapolitan, maybe? Ooh. Or perhaps the, um, Italian man's Neapolitan Spumoni. Normal guests would have Sandman guide them, but I guess you're not a normal guest. You just kind of broke and entered. Medicine, 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 a tube. Weird candles. Maybe that, like gem thing was the order of the candles candle stand not lit candle stand not lit no that you can't read remove the note we now have two notes we can't read perhaps the sandman's are we literate? Does Sophie Grundler know how to read? Have we read anything in this game? We read the signs in town. If only we could read it. We can't read that one. It says no. Actually, we can't even read that. It says no horse. But to Sophie, that's just a something. Is that the guy that Sandman no! hates? No horse. This would be so much easier. We read the signs in town, I think. So, like, maybe that's just a weird fairy language. Or maybe it's the Sandman that can't write? Can I get this? Why can I take all the other memos, but I can't take this one? The sign says, Sandman, do not eat. Do not take. No, stop. I don't want to get small. I want to take the log with us. Said so if we go eat. Oh, haunts. 
Oh, Sophie, you're late. I was waiting for you. Hello. <laughs> and you are? Donut eat. Come on, you have to know. I'm the unicorn. I saw you back in... Oh, right, we did follow a horse for a bit. I saw you back in my world. Did you want to bring me over here? Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. <laughs> wish right now. We gotta get our Mordecai costume on. Yep, that was the plan. I hated letting Sandman have his way. Plus, you're just so cute. I think this horse is hitting on us. Hey, Sophie. Oh god, this horse is hitting on us. Do you have a boyfriend or anything? Huh? I mean, no. Well, anyone you like. Shut up. And if there is, it's none of your business. <laughs> Tight-lipped, are we? That's how girls always are. So, I hear you want to stop Sandman. Oh, I know how that feels. He's such a detestable fellow. Can you tell me what I should do? You bet. But not for free. I want a favor, too. A favor? Sandman hides a, lot, hides a lot of pretty jewels in his house. I've asked to see him again and again, but he's all... Never to the likes of you, humph. Apparently elephants think humans are cute in the aww way. Let's go. Humans think elephants are cute. You ever seen a baby elephant? That's adorable. Unicorn sus. Don't trust this corn. So I tried sneaking in for a peek, but he made all these weird traps to keep me out. <laughs> Ill-natured old coot, isn't he? Elephants are so cute. So if you can show me one of those jewels, I'll give you something useful and great. How about it? So I just bring a jewel here? Yep, the jewels I mean are round and glossy. They come in all sorts of colors. Like perhaps red, white, blue, pink, green, light green, purple, uh, yellow? Oh, but I specifically want a pink jewel. Not interested in any others. Keep being busy during the Ify streams. Simply put it on in the background. Streams are the best background um, audio to have. They're so good to just have sounds exist while you like do a different thing. While you like play a game or draw a picture or play Neopets.com. Alright, but what if the Sandman sees me and I can't bring it? Uh, well then, I'll... I'll run you through with my horn. What? <laughs> can't wait. Good luck, Sophie. Don't want to gouge your organs out. I don't like this horse. Okay. We have to find Pink Jewel. Yeah, this unicorn sucks. No wonder this guy's got a sign that says none of it. I feel like any one of these doors we walk through... Two, three, four, five. It was six. It was six. Did I turn that unicorn into glitter glue? Grind your hoofs to make my craft supplies. Hey, lullaby. I can't read the Sandman's language. It's weird. I can understand the other fairies just fine. Oh, Hughes is kind of a special language. He invented his own, uh, what was it? Most rationalistic and logicalistic word strings, I think. So the Sandman is just illiterate. What the heck? I don't get it. He's a really smart guy. Scientist, inventor, philosopher, maybe more. He deals in sleep, which covers a number- Ow! 
which covers a number of fields. Me and the others understand him, but I guess you wouldn't. Tell me if you want me to read anything. Kimbot <laughs> made a sound. Why is that sound called global.wav? Oh, it would be lob 50. I was like, why aren't the objects showing up? What? Just, what are you? You're like the real David, but grosser. Now that's not 50 of them. Oh, you know what? No, it needs no space. <laughs> it needs no space. I forgot. I need to put the the objects back into, um... Back into StreamerBot instead of directly into the tits program. The objects, yeah. Lo there we go. There's all our objects. Just what are you? Third times the job. <laughs> so many objects. I'm the David you imagine, which may be a little different. But you like his kindness, don't you? Oh, he just vanished. You okay, bud? He's gone. Change the way we feel Cause we can always take but never give Whoa It's a crazy work I walked into the fire Does that mean we have to talk to David again? Whoa It's a crazy world we're living in Oh no we did save right after that Okay we're good We're gonna save here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a bear in my face. You have enough for bedtime. <laughs> have enough for bedtime story, but it will be too tired for me tonight, so maybe Monday. The thing about channel points is they will always continue to be there until you spend them. You can save them for a rainy day. You can save them for a sunny day. I don't usually stream during the day, so I guess for a rainy night or a sunny night. These are where the gems are. Can I get that pink one? How do I get it? Wait, how do I take it? How do I... Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna move my legs. You don't have to leave. Oh, okay, you're leaving. The struggle of having an aminal in your lap and then your legs start to fall asleep so you gotta shift them. The animal just thinks that their bed decided to leave. Do I have to find... It's Crazy World 1 and 3 odds. I think so. Let me check. How many... I'm pretty sure there's only f three sounds it could be, right? Yeah. Ghost meat. We've got ghost burger and we've got ghost meat. So somehow we gotta get those stones out of the door. Can we use the bo the bottle? So Siri me wee hee hee hee. Siri me wee hee hee hee. Can't read it. I, maybe I have to go to the other David room. Do you guys know how to get the gems? They don't even want to talk to me. Siri me wee hee hee. This is the part where it's going to chase us, isn't it? I know it. I know it. I 
Have I been down here? This is where David is. David won't even talk to us. Can I go this way? That's a dead end. Locked, can't read it. If they could show us the notes, maybe we could solve the like puzzle of his cool secret language. Okay, I'm getting better at that room. Oh man, getting running through here is gonna be so bad. Puzzling machine, holes in the floor. Midnight. I want it. It's right there. It's right there. Maybe this is, um... Like a room map? And I have to go to, like, the top right room? And that's where the pink gem is? I'm still mad that there's, like, this staircase here and no way to get to it. Wait. There seems to be less stairs, but there's a wall in the way. Emerald flame. Can I not mm. bottle it? Maybe that changes something. Oh! Well, that's handy. Yellow flame, yellow flame. Hi, Mims! I'm lost. I like I feel like I'm supposed to light those candles. Pusheen Halloween boxes ship. Let's go. Is that the one that has a uh, hoodie in it? It's got secrets in it. It's got Pusheen secrets. Push secrets. This is unicorn, huh? Really don't get along, do they? We're trying to help a sleazy unicorn. Stop the Sandman. Top right room should be pink flame, right? But this is green. Do I have to go touch them all in order? Or... Can I touch the valve? I think so, you kind of forgot. I remember them, like, announcing what would be in it forever ago. It was probably like a couple months ago, but it feels like forever ago. This is the clock's room. Machines. Munch, munch, munch. They're having a munch. Purple and yellow striped cabby pillars. Do what? Do what? Blue. The candles are 
definitely the colors of the gems. Ah! Oh! What's the matter? I was cleaning when the painting fell. What to do? What to do? Well, then just put it back. Here, I'll help. Thank you, thank you. Ugh, it's too heavy to lift. Sorry about that. We'll just have to leave it here. Okay. Keep it secret it was me, okay? Huh? Something on the wall. Now this is the same jams. But the order is... Difference. Sorry you're late. No such thing. Streams is all the time. Pop in, jump in, anytime, always. ABC, always be catching the stream when you can, or resting when you don't, or doing other things when you don't. ABC, always be living your life, and L is a C if you, like, straighten it out into a stick, and then you bend it at, like, a 90-degree angle, and then it becomes an L. I'm gonna write this one down. We've got... Blue, white, purple, green, pink, red, green, light, yellow. What does it all mean? What it all means. Better late than early. Cause then you'd be <laughs> then you'd be by yourself watching nothing. Sometimes if you pop into stream, um I wanna say like 15, 30 minutes before stream, if I've booted up my computer, then the channel point command or not the channel point commands, but the uh the like the chat commands will still work. You won't be able to hear any of the sounds, but they will still be playing on my computer. Is that so, sir? You say meow? Woo! You could waffles jump scare me. It's possible. It's possible to do it. You pay any, it's $40 per box, but like the number of items you get seems to be worth $40. What are you doing, sir? Causing a mess, making a record? The order changed. What it all means. I take them? Are these the jewels unicorn meant? They don't seem very glossy. Plus, they're firmly lodged in the wall here. Yeah, we could play some Where's an Egg. Do a quick uh, brain refresh from... Ba 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 I know this puzzle very good. None of these guys know anything. <laughs> he had the egg. They have an egg button. Dedicated egg button for when you gotta get the egg. How <laughs> are you so quickly? Open up where is an egg? I have it on my bookmark toolbar. I've got Plex, I've got YouTube, I've got Twitch TV, I've got where's an egg, and then I've got my Neopets folder. Boom, 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 boom,
Love to be awarded the egg award. Goodbye, where's an egg? Now, what do we do here? Glossy, they're firmly lodged in the wall. No, they're not glossy. So is this the part where now I go upstairs and I interact with the ones in the door? And... Hmm. And then it tells me something else about them? Or am I supposed to do something with blue... Do I have to, like... Can't use that. What are you doing down there, sir? Hold on, let me share with you the shape that my cat is currently in. Give me one second. I think you guys don't... I think you guys don't understand, but you must. But you must. Egg button reel confirmed and on its way. Is what he says. Is what he says. Can I get a, can I get a morale in chat? Can I get a Meemaw? Shaped cat. Hold on, let me show you the shapes of this cat. I'm transferring image from phone to PC and from PC to folder and then from folder to stream. Look at this man. Why is he shaped like that? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Why does he do this? <laughs> Why does he sit like that? Why he stretch? Why he twist like a pretzel? Sir? He do a, he do a swirly... He do a squimbles. Sir? And now he's sitting normal. Now he's sitting all normal style. But like... Why these legs face this way, these legs face this way? He just fully twists. I'm just gonna like put him down there. He loves to twist. He has tummy trouble, so I think sometimes when he twists like that, it's just to help stretch his tummy. But also, he might just like stretching like that. I really don't know. I really and truly do not understand this cat. Prabzel. Are there any other rooms? Can't do anything with that yet. Can't do anything about purple. Like, blue? There's a lot of things with colors in this castle. There's a whole bunch of colors in this castle. And I don't know if I'm supposed to like put the put the flames in a jar or put the things in a thing. I 
feel like I'm going to have to take the jar that I got from the mystery goop and then go to each of the candles in the right order and then put them in. But right now, I can't do anything. Today you learned one of the ASL signs for Colorado is the shape for color and then RDO. I mean, they're not wrong. Color auto. Bottle flame just like Splay the Spire. All right, these are turned off, thank God. There's definitely going to be a way to, like, turn off the walls in this room. At some point. Okay, now is it going to let me interact with these? Oh, I'm changing the order! Okay. I wrote these down. Blue. White. Purple. Green. Pink. Wed. Light green. Yellow. This looks like a place to save. Gonna take it. Oops. Looked up. It's just dough. A color dough. It's still Colorado. Wooden stick is propped against a shelf. Take it. Shelves. Nothing in them. Something sand-like is strewn around. Probably sand. Sand, 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 sand. What's the stick for? Got a sack. Am I gonna make a stick and bindle? Like what a cartoon hobo brings with them on the train tracks? Y'all ever read the books about the boxcar children? They really did. We're just out there writing books about homeless children's. Living in a boxcar. They solve mysteries? Was that their whole deal? Exclamation points. Footsteps. It's the Sandman. Am I gonna... Um... What do I do? Where can I hide? In here. Um... This one's big. I can hide in here. Normal. Oh my god, the boxcar children. No, no, I'm drank from a teacup with a crack. Oh yeah! Why do I remember that so vividly? You don't want to open this. You don't want to open this. They're defining characteristics. Maybe. There were like, what, three of them? There was like boy and girl and small, right? Or am I mixing them up with other fictional children? He left? Good, he didn't see me. Ah! Hi there, Hello. Sweetie. Don't call me sweetie. Ah! What? Was there someone there? The closetman. It's the only thing you remember about them. The three genders, boy, girl, and small. Hello? What was that earlier? Was someone inside? Freddy from, uh, Elm? Now I gotta Google the box children, hold on. I gotta know. I gotta, 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 gotta know. Surely the Sandman will not come back while we're looking up the boxcar children join in the mystery. 
oh, hold on. There was four of them? It's more than just a mystery. Freddy from Elm, not Freddy from Fazbear's. Different Freddy. The one, the Freddy with the claws, not the Freddy with the, um, what the, what is, th what is this? What is this Johnny Johnny Yes Papa looking book render? There were four of them. There were four of them and a dog. Who's the other one? It was boy, girl, girl, and small? And dog. Um, meet the boxcar children. Take the boxcar personality quiz. Download activities. Join the fan club. And even ask your favorite character a question. I want to do that. Big boy, big girl, small boy, small girl. Oh. Is that an animated film? Oh, you know what? You're right. It is. That's like a DVD. The box cart. <laughs> I want to have a Discord movie night where we watch the Boxcar Children animated film. Um, I want to take high tea. I want to take the personality quiz to see which Boxcar child I am. Recipes. Puzzles. Crafts. Something video disc? CD is compact disc. DVD stands for, um, dis video do. It's probably like digital video disc. Um, DVD's nuts. Boom. Got them. No. What does DVD? Digital video disc or digital versatile disc. Interesting. That tracks. That trungles. Who is in the closet? Hey, who is in the closet? We can leave now, right? And not get chased? Home video system. What do I do? Home entertainment system. David, will you pretty please read these letters to me? Hey, lullaby. Are there creatures besides fairies here? What do you think? The creatures humans think up aren't all one kind. There's ghosts and monsters. But why do you ask? I hid from the Sandman in a closet earlier, and I think someone was in it. In a closet? Maybe it was the Boogeyman. From the game that comes next? Boogeyman? When the Sandman goes to the human world, he makes a path under kids' beds. The Boogeyman, meanwhile, uses closets. All right. Still going on ahead? You must be tired. Gonna give up soon? I have to find a way to stop the Sandman. Why don't you just tell him to stop? I don't even know what he's saying. Well, he's saying... <laughs> oh, right. Well, then I guess you'll have to be forceful. We gotta kill him. We gotta do a murder. It's the only way. It's the only way. So what do we do with stick and bag? You looked at Google images for Betamax and one of the images brought you to a recipe for grilled chicken blood? How do you grill a liquid? Is it a sausage? I know blood sausage is like a thing. 
Also, where is the Sandman? Was I supposed to ask the horse to read the Sandman's letters? No haunts allowed. stick. They let the blood coagulate and then cut it into rectangles and that's why it's called Betamax because rectangle shape? Were ba Wait, were Betamax rectangles? I always thought Betamax was discs. This is cursed knowledge. This might be cursed knowledge. They're literally making a blood sausage but without the case. They're making rectangular snossages. Um, they're a VHS competitor. I don't need to see these anymore. Dusty, do you know what I do with this stick? I thought they were just ahead of their time and, like, they were doing discs, even though everybody else was doing, um rectangles. I can use the stick to stir the pot. Do I have to go back and like ask the... Here's another memo. Can't reach that one though. Someone needs to teach me how to read. Someone in this game needs to teach me how to do a reading. I'm gonna try to talk to the horse again. And hopefully the horse doesn't do me a big murder. Excuse me. Don't get it twisted, a pink jewel. If you bring me the wrong thing, hee <laughs> hee. Can you like... Read? Do you think maybe the Tooth Fairy knows how to read? There's also this like dark cave and this bird cage that I feel like are gonna be used at some point and you guys, can I put you in the jar? Nixie, can you read? Squeeze me tooth fairy. Can you read? Nobody in this game know how to read. I don't want to break the mirror again. What do? I guess we're not leaving the castle yet. But we've gone to every room. And none of them do anything. stick. What would you be used on in a weird castle? Huh? 
kind of stick was it? A wooden stick. I'm assuming we're supposed to use it to light something. <laughs> a better stick is not as good as a good stick. Yeah, a good stick is better than a better stick. Better stick is better than a plain stick. This is just a wooden stick. Which is better than a than a twig. In our pockets we've got cell phone that we can't use, memo that we can't read, notice that we can't read, sack that we just got but can't use. Notebook that we always had but can't use. Empty bottle that we got a little while ago but can't use. St you know what we gotta do? I know what we gotta do. I've got it. I've smarted it. I've done it. We have to pull the lever. Lever brings up the emerald fire. We use our stick to get it. And then we carry it. Wait, I passed the room. Hold on. We gotta go back. Just quickly gonna double check in here. Make sure th there was nothing... There's nothing. There's nothing. Okay. We gotta bring the fire back. We gotta bring back up the pit. What the, um, Sands man fell into? Just past this. Surely it will let us poke that fire with the stick and then carry the torch to the unlit candles stinks and then we light those and then it'll be good to do it. And it'll be the correct one. That didn't do anything. But it doesn't do anything. That wasn't the answer. Does that turn the fires back on? It does. Can I use the stick here? No. But maybe having this fire will change something else? This game is just a whole bunch of interact with everything and hope for the best. I, they like, they wouldn't put that fire there. If there wasn't a reason. What was that in the corner of this room? Uh. Can't get to those stairs. Emerald fire room. Oh, this is the lever. This is the lever that we flip to either put the fire down or bring the fire back up. We've been wandering around with the fire down. It is time for you to sleep. I hope you have a good dreams. Thank you for coming and thank you for hanging out. Thank you for a chatting and a watching and a, a sharing cool stories. I hope you have a good night, good dreams, good sleep, good ice cream, good morning. Nobody have weird dreams tonight, okay? I had a dream last night that things were flooding. It wasn't great. We took in a stray dog from outside because we didn't sure. want it to get caught in the flood. So, lad, do not dream about sexy salad fingers. It was a weird dog. It had, like, saber-toothed teeth. What Stick? There's these holes here that I have no clue what they're for. Other than to stop me from interacting with the machine. I'm probably going to have to drop things in there. There, like, might be some kind of secret in here, but I don't think so. David, please, can you read these to me? Hey, lullaby. This notice was up on the wall in the opposite room. Can you read it? Sure can. Let's see. Put out the emerald flames after use.
that it? Can you read the memo, please? Why can he only read the one? What? Well, we know about that. <laughs> David. David. You're useless to me. But maybe... <laughs> Maybe that'll be enough. Can't read that. Can't go anywhere here. Maybe that's enough to trigger something when we turn the emerald flames off. I did f I did forget there was another room. Is there anything we can do here? These guys don't want to talk anymore. This machine is a puzzle we can't interact with. You know what? I think it is. I think that was the trigger we needed to be able to get some of the, of the, the emerald flame. Because the room we found that notice in was in the one with the unlit candlesticks. Is this the emerald flame that the note mentioned? Yes. Ah. My heart rate got too low. Okay. How do I get it? The notice here mentioned emerald flames. Do I need to light these ca- Oh my god. Game. I'm like five steps ahead of you. Please. How am I supposed to get the flame? Use the stick. Use the stick. Or the bottle? Stupid flags. Is the sack? Four, five, six. Is that... How do I... How do I get it? Get, how do I get it? Is it like now I have to interact with something else that lets me... Can I like... I'm assuming it's the stick. I don't want to break that. Do I have to... Okay. You know what? We've passed 10. Perhaps this is a good place to call it for tonight. The only thing I can think of is I have to interact with this and then the candlestick and then go back to David and talk to David again who will tell me like, oh yeah, you can put fire on a stick and it's fine. Can I not just, like, push you? So we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna call it a night right here. Thank you, everybody, for coming. 
thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for hanging out and chatting. Checking who's live. Nido Sprout's still live? Or did Nido Sprout go live twice today? Is that allowed? Can you do that? I'm gonna send you over to Nido Sprout doing some late night karaoke. We'll play more of this game Wednesday, same day of the week. Um, Wednesday, same time of the night, 7 p.m. Pacific. On Monday, we will play a new... Wait, what day is Monday? 23rd. We'll play a new spooky game on Monday. I don't know what yet, but um, we'll figure it out. But for the now, for the current, it's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. Good night, everybody. Can I 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 can